Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge and I wanted to show you today um, a couple of different blocks that you can do really easily with pre-cuts. Uh, we've all got lots of jelly rolls and charm packs and things in our stash and we don't know what to do with them. So these are some really, really quick and easy, easy uh, projects to do. Um, the first one I'm going to do is a very, very simple either ra rail fence which can quite easily turn into uh, a nine patch. So I'm using this lovely jelly roll from, um, from Moda. It's the stitch pink one. And I've just pulled out a few of the jelly roll strips just in an array of colors. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna start by just cutting two strips off. So I've left it folded. And we're gonna cut two strips off. I'm just gonna cut it off at about 10 inches. It really doesn't matter at this point because we'll trim it all down, okay? So I'm gonna cut it off like that. So I've got two in that color. And I just want three colors to start with. So I'm gonna go for a mid pink and choose this really pretty one here. Let's just get another one off like that. So again, just cut off about 10 inches. Doesn't need to be overly precise at this point. Okay, and then we'll go for a nice dark one. So you've got a real contrast, a nice tonal difference there. And again, cut off about the same size. And we go like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew these together just with a quarter inch seam allowance, like this. Okay, we're going to stitch this together. So I'm going to put these right sides together and you're going to line up those um, little edges there where they've been pinked. You can use pins if you want to, you don't have to, but it's absolutely fine if you do like to use pins. I'm a bit lazy with pinning, so I don't tend to bother, but pin it down and we're going to stitch right the way down there at a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to go over to the machine and I've got a quarter inch foot on, which again makes things nice and easy. It means you've got a little guide on the foot there, on the side of the foot in order to butt the fabric up against. And we're going to use just a stitch length of about two, two and a half. You don't want too uh, big a stitch length just because then your seams can really show. So just go whiz all the way down there, nice and easy, straight line sewing. I'm going to take this back over to the mat, take those pins out and then press this out like that. Okay, now you can finger press it at this point or you can give it a, a really good iron as well. Don't iron too heavily, you don't want to stretch anything, but just do from the front so you get a nice crisp line. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm going to take this other piece here like that and we're going to add that on as well. So I'm going to down like that and so I've got that nice bright pink sandwich between those two pale ones. Now you could do a, you could do a, a darker colour and do a tonal but actually this will work really nicely for a, a little nine patch block. So I'm only using small amounts of the jelly roll. If you're going to do lots and lots of nine patch blocks you could use the whole length of the jelly roll and again make this really really nice and quick. Okay, there we go, all the way down like that. Now this little piece here can now be used for a nine patch, which I'll show you in a second, or it could be used for a rail fence, which again is a really easy, simple little block to do. So I'm gonna do that. What you want to do now is you just want to measure the width of it because you want to get squares out of this. So if you're doing a rail fence, you're gonna do this as a, as a square. So the width of this now is measuring at six and a half, which is really good, which means my quarter inch is nice and uh, correct. Okay, and then we're gonna cut this at six and a half. Now you could use your mat for this, or you could use a bigger ruler if you've got one. I'm just gonna cut that up at six and a half there, like uh, that, make sure my ruler's all nice and lined up, which it's not, so let's get that in line, there to there, like that, and make sure that's nice and straight on the mat and cut up like that. I can then put this nice straight edge on the zero line of my mat and just trim off any excess on the six and a half, which is gonna be there to there. And it's just moved just slightly, so let's pop that one back like that, and we can get that in there. And just trim off that little bit of excess. You could make lots and lots of these blocks, okay, in all different colors. And a rail fence is when you just turn each block like this. So you'd have this one going down this way and then this one going down like that and the next one vertically. So you can imagine if you've got more colours you'd have another block like this. Oh, I'll get that one out of the way. <laughs> like that 
and then your third block would be vertical, horizontal, and it makes a really interesting, particularly if you play around with the, like the tonal values of your fabrics and um, allow them to sort of play in, and you get lovely ombre effects and things. So with your second block, you want to alternate your colours. So where this one's got the, the pales on the outside and then the dark in the centre, we're going to cut this again and just make this a little bit longer. Cut this down. And this time we're going to do a dark one, a light one. And we want one more, which is my dark one like that. Okay, it doesn't matter that they're different lengths because again, we're going to be cutting into these. So I'm going to stitch these together. Again, with exactly the same, that quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to sew straight down, nice and quickly. And hopefully these will come out the same size. So there's my first one in. Okay, like that. These really, these blocks really can be done. They could be done by hand if you wanted to, but they can be done by absolutely anybody. It's a really good block, uh, both the rail fence and this little nine patch that you can do with um, beginner sewers. You know, if you've got kids or grandkids that want to learn to sew, you know, you can do the cutting for them and then just get them to do the straight lines because it's very easy to do. There is nothing complicated here at all. There we go. And I'm just going to move all that out of the way a second and we're going to iron this one out. Now this one I ironed with the seams going in towards the centre. Where this one I'm going to iron it so the seams are going outwards so we can nest those in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to do this again so that it goes out this way. And by nesting you'll get nice neat points and I'll show you in just a second what I mean by that. Okay, there we go. So instead of having a six and a half inch block, because I started off with two and a half inch squares, I'm actually going to cut this down into two and a half inch strips. So I'm going to line this, my ruler up along with the edge. Now this happens to be a two and a half inch ruler, which is brilliant because <laughs> I haven't got to worry about any measurements or anything. So I'm going to cut up like that. And again, if you were making lots of these blocks, you'd have, you know, you could do the whole jelly roll strip rather than just in little pieces. And I can get two of those like that and then I want to do it off this one as well so I'm going to line my horizontal line up along that seam cut up like that and then turn that one and then I can just trim down to get that to be two and a half inches as well there we go and then what we can do is then put these together so you get this really lovely little nine patch by alternating them instead of having to cut lots and lots of little squares and then sewing them together, you can do it in the strips and it's much, much quicker. What I meant by nesting earlier was it's a little trick. So because we ironed that, that way, and we ironed these this way, we put them together, your seams actually go in opposite directions. So this one's going this way and this one's going to the right. I'm gonna pop a pin in there. When you pin them, pin them diagonally. So my pin's going in here out at a diagonal and what that does is that holds that bottom piece down so that when it's going through the sewing machine you don't that doesn't all like get caught up in like you know ruckles up a little bit. I'm going to again pin it on this one as well so making sure those seams are going in opposite direction and you can almost feel them kind of the seams like clicking together and butt up. So we're going to pop a pin in that one and then we're going to stitch down there. And a nine patch is a very, very traditional block. It's used in all sorts of different uh, quilt patterns. Um, it's used in like an Irish chain. Those are lots of little, ch um, little nine patches all put together. Um, all sorts of different um, patterns will use these really basic blocks. There we go, so I'm gonna iron that one out. And then we can add on the one the other side like that. So you've got, there's two out of a couple of jelly roll strips. You could quite easily make two very, very simple patterns, a nine patch and a rail fence. And then what I thought we'd do next is another jelly roll pattern, which is called a half log cabin, which is again, a really, really simple, easy to do. But when you put all these together, you could put them all together to make a really beautiful like sampler quilt, which would work really, really well. And it's very little cutting. You know, if you want to make something quickly and you don't want to have to worry about all the cutting, 
this comes together very, very quick. Okay, so there's our little nine patch. So that first one was going to be a rail fence where we, we alternated them. And then there's a nine patch now. And then the last one we're going to do is a, a little half log cabin. Okay, so we want to start by cutting ourselves a two and a half inch square. Because this is two and a half wide, we'd start, we're going to cut down for two and a half. And this is going to be the very centre. So I want a two and a half inch square. I also then need another two and a half inch square from a different colour. So I'm going to grab this strip here and I'm going to cut another one. Now if you were obviously doing lots of these blocks, you could um, fold your jelly roll strips up and cut sort of four and five at a time. We're just going to cut these ones now like that. What we're going to do is we're going to sew these two together. So I'm going to start with my very lightest one here and then add that one on. Right sides together. Again, pin if you want to, if you, you're happy pinning. And we're going to stitch down a quarter of an inch. Again, see it's lots of very repetitive sewing. A lot quilting, almost all quilting, when you break it down, even the most beautiful, complicated blocks that you can, you know, you see, when you break it down is, is literally straight line sewing. Anybody can have a go at it. Again, this could be done by hand. You don't have to do this by machine. Okay, there we go. Now what I want to do now is put a piece of fabric along the bottom here, okay? So I'm going to grab my jelly roll strip and I want it to be the length of this. Now you could absolutely, if you wanted to, measure this with the ruler the right way round. <laughs> measure that and that comes to four and a half inches and cut yourself a four and a half inch square. But if you want to be really quick and cheat a little bit, lie it down and just cut it a weeny bit bigger, okay? If you're doing something very, very quickly, this is a really nice, easy way of doing it and we'll trim it afterwards. We're then going to stitch that together like that. So we're going to stitch along there. Again, straight line, quarter of an inch, nothing complicated. All the way down, like that. And we're going to then press that one out and each time I'm going to press the fabric towards the newest piece of fabric that I've put on. So we're going to press it out that way. Okay. And now you can just trim off this excess. So I actually find that my blocks stay a lot squarer doing it this way than cutting all my pieces because you can cut all your pieces and then your sewing can be a little bit wonky and then all your edges go out. So if you do it this way, you can actually sort of correct, it, correct any mistakes that you make. So I'm going to put my horizontal line along that seam that I've just sewn and trim off that excess. Turn it that way and just make sure that that's exactly the same. So again, trim off that little excess. And it is, I mean, you are wasting a, a very small amount of fabric, but not very much. I then want to do my next colour. So I want to come down to this side here. So I, because it's a half log cabin, I'm only ever going to be working on the right and the bottom of that original block. So that was my original one there. So I went to the right of it and then the bottom. And then we're going to add on the next one. So I'm going to add this one on here. And again, I just want it to be just a weeny bit longer. So overlap there, just cut off with my scissors there. And we're going to sew that one down. Stitch that one onto there. Again, pins, not pins, entirely up to you. <laughs> I am at all the way down there. Like that. Cut my thread. And again, we're going to press out towards the one we've just put on. So press that out. This is already starting to look like my uh, sewing room table at home. <laughs> Everything's everywhere. Again, now we're just going to trim that down. And you can keep adding strips as many as you want. You can make this to, you were going to add one more strip on now and make it into a six and a half inch block, which would then fit in with my little nine patch that I did earlier. But if you wanted to make bigger blocks, if you wanted to say go up to say 12 and a half or even 20 and a half inches, make really big blocks, you would just keep adding on jelly roll strips. So I've added onto the right. So I'm going to add my last one onto the bottom here. So I'm going to use this little bit of uh, dark red that I've got left and I've got that lovely sort of tonal ombre effect going on. But this would work with any jelly roll or if you wanted to cut your own two and a half inch strips, you know, if you just want to go through your stash, go through your scrap buckets, cut as many two and a half inch strips as you can, you can make really quick, really fun blocks 
um, make amazing picnic blankets and stuff, something that looks really scrappy and uh, colourful. There we go. I'm just going to, again, last little bit of ironing, iron that out to that block there. So not block, sorry, that, the one we've just sewn on. And we're just going to trim that last little bit up. And we've got three blocks from very little fabric, but three totally different patterns from a jelly roll. So there we go, there's a little half log cabin. And like we are saying, you could, if you wanted to, you could add extra ones on and just keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger, always working on the right and the bottom each time. So there we go, we've got a, a half log cabin, we've got a very quick little nine patch, and then the one that I cut up, which was my rail fence, <laughs> which would have gone that way, and then vertically and horizontal. So really, really quick and simple, easy ways of using a jelly roll to make really quick and simple quilts. Um, thank you for uh, joining me today, and hopefully all your watch the shows on the craft store. <laughs>